Welcome to tonight's webinar about the many options Dallas ISD has to offer your student. Bienvenidos al programa virtual de hoy acerca de la variedad de opciones que ofrece Dallas ISD. Si desea escuchar esta presentación en español, puede seleccionar la opción en español en la parte inferior derecha de la pantalla, el símbolo del mundo. Si por algún motivo no escucha al intérprete, regrese al inglés y vuelva a intentar la opción en español. Si aún no funciona, por favor avísenos a través del Q&A que se encuentra en la parte inferior de su pantalla. Desafortunadamente, la opción de interpretación no es compatible con las computadoras Chromebook. Le recomendamos que intente entrar a la reunión utilizando un teléfono celular iPhone o Android una computadora, PC, iPad o tablet para escuchar la reunión en español. We are, this is the last webinar that we are doing before the application period. So, um, so, we, so we're here to answer your questions and to um, give you some information that we think you might find uh, helpful. We will be listening to presentations from some of the programs that are offered in our high schools. And then we're going to be hearing from, from specific high schools about the programs offered at those schools um, for you to, to help you choose which is the best fit program for your student. Um, you can send us questions uh, that you might have at any time by clicking on the Q&A icon that is at the bottom of your screen and typing in the question. We'll be answering questions at the end of the presentations, but you can enter them really at any time. And before we start with the presentations, uh, we'll briefly walk you through the application process. So you, if you've never used our application system, um, you'll be able to, um, to see the, um, the, you'll be able to, to see what the process is. And I want to remind you that uh, January 31st is the deadline to apply. So if, um, if Jennifer, if you want to walk us through the, um, the application process. Hey, Mari Carmen. Yes, of course, I'd love to. Um, if I can just share my screen. Um, uh, uh, if Alejandra needs to stop sharing hers. <laughs> trying to stop it, but just a second. In the meantime, um, I do want to remind families that this is the same portal that we have been using for registration. Um, so if you did complete the registration forms um, during the school year for student currently attends Dallas ISD, then you should be familiar with this website. Um, so here, if you, I'll just go back to the homepage, from the Dallas ISD homepage, dallasisd.org, you will see an icon down at the bottom right, uh, choose Dallas ISD. And from here, um, one tool that we do offer is um, if you need assistance with narrowing down all of the options that we have here with the district, um, if you select find school options, it will take you to our school finder tool. Um, so here using the right uh, the option on the right, it will allow you to filter um, the schools based on the programs that we offer. Um, so if you're looking for a STEM campus, STEAM, a P-TECH early college, um, then you can definitely use this tool to narrow down the list of programs that we have available. Once you have your list, just go ahead and click here, choose Dallas ISD application, and it will take you to the login page. So again, if you did complete the registration forms for this school year, or even if you submitted an application last year, you will already have an account here, so you can just log in. If this will be your first time in the system, then go ahead and create an account using the options on the right. Um, so I will go ahead and log into the account that I have and kind of show you what um, that looks like because there are two key factors that you really need to pay attention to within this site um, to ensure your application is processed properly. Uh, so the first one, once you... Uh, come to the welcome page is to make sure the school year is set to the 2022-2023 school year in the upper right corner here. 
And then you're going to want to check if you already had an account that the student is, um, if the student is already connected. So if you scroll down and you see the student's name here, then you will see the application tab for that child. And then you can just continue with the application here. For example, here, continue with. If the student is not here on the account, then you can kind of scroll up and click on the Let's Begin Application tab to get started with that application. If the student is a current Dallas ISD student, please, please, please um, enter their ID number here. Um, so that way you have no issues with attaching the student to your account and completing that application. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you don't know that ID number, um, you can always give us a call. Our phone number will always be at the bottom of this page and we can assist you. Um, it will also be on any Dallas ISD issued report card or progress report um, throughout the student's education. So uh, you can definitely check there. It will also be available within your parent portal account if you have um, an account with us there. Um, just to show you a little bit as to what the application looks like once you've actually logged in, um, it will ask you for the student's information. So if the student is a current Dallas ISD student, most of this will already be pre-populated for what we have in the system. So you're just going to look over it, make sure everything still applies, make sure the address is up to date. Um, but the real important piece is going to be page four, the selected schools. Now, I do want to mention um, your zone school, your anticipated school is where the student has guaranteed enrollment. Um, however, if, for example, this student is zoned to North Dallas, but you're interested in an additional program within North Dallas, such as the P-TECH program, you still have to submit an application. So it's really important that you go through this process. Um, under the zone school, you'll see a map. And you can use this to determine what schools are in your area if distance is something that's very important to you all. So you can click on the school and it'll give you the name of the campus. But if you already know the campuses in which you're interested in, then you'll just scroll down to the bottom of campuses that are available to you. Now the school will um, let you know if it's a magnet school or a transformation school. Uh, that is important because the system does limit parents to applying to only two magnet schools um, and five campuses total. So that kind of helps you keep track as to what programs you're selecting. Um, it, as you can see, some programs or some schools have multiple programs. So if you're interested in that school, you can apply to their multiple programs there. Once you have selected your schools, the second crucial piece is gonna be the ranking. Um, students will only receive one offer based on this ranking and it will be their highest ranked um, offer. So automatically these schools are ranked in alphabetical order. So if this is not the order of the student's preference, then you can just drag and drop and move them to the proper order um, on your list. And then you're just gonna to wanna to go through each of these pages, um, upload the required documents for each program, such as the report card, proof of residence, and test scores if it's for a magnet school. Um, there are specific questions that may be added to the application depending on the school that you're applying to. For example, here you can see Booker T. Washington has a specific set of questions. Um, and then also the P-TECH and early colleges have a specific set of questions that the student needs to answer on the application. But once all of that has been done, you will just submit your application. And as Marie Carmen uh, mentioned earlier, the application deadline is January 31st. So what that also means is that you can make edits to your application up until January 31st as well. Um, so for example, if you maybe have a conversation with the student and they decide they prefer a different um, option, say maybe they change their mind and they want Booker T as their first choice, uh, you can make edits here directly from your dashboard and just rearrange your options here. If you want to change the actual schools you have selected, you can click on the edit button here on the right and then navigate back to the selected schools page and change these options as you'd like. So you can make all of these edits even if your application has been submitted up until January 31st. Again, if you have any trouble throughout this process, then you can always give the Office of Centralized Enrollment a call. We are available to assist Monday through Friday um, from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m.
Excellent. Thank you so much, Jennifer. It's always, um, you know, it's it's a somewhat new application. We we started it started using it um, last year for the first time, and so we continue to use it this year. So for those of you who are not familiar with it. Now you have a much better idea. And, and yes, definitely take advantage of the help that um, Jennifer and the rest of her team offer through the uh, phone bank, which is open tonight from six to eight. And, um, and they can walk you through the application if you call them, or it's also open uh, weekdays from 7.30 to 5.30 if you run into any issues with the application, whether it's uploading documents or which documents to upload, they, they answer a myriad of que uh, questions. So they're very knowledgeable. And, um, and I really encourage you to... to um, use this uh, resource if you if you need to. I uh, will also be answering your questions later in the webinar, so please send them to us uh, through the Q&A and uh, we'll get them uh, at the end of the presentations. So our first presentation is uh, P-TECH and early college high schools. Good evening. I'm instructional specialist, Dr. Denise Patton, and on behalf of PTEC and Early College High School, I'd like to share the unique and valuable opportunities available to you through our programs. Our high schools offer two options, PTEC, which stands for Pathways in Technology Early College High School, and ECHS, which stands for Early College High School. Both programs allow students to earn up to 60 hours of college credit tuition free, as well as an associate's degree through our higher education partners, Dallas College and UNT Dallas. Our P-TECH high schools also have industry partners, such as American Airlines, Baylor Scott & White, the Dallas Zoo and IBM, who offer highly valuable workplace learning opportunities like career internships, workplace mentoring, and first in line job opportunities. PTEC and early college high school's exciting design results in unique benefits for your student. Getting to earn up to 60 college hours and career tech certifications for free, being offered scholarships from four-year universities upon graduation, and workplace learning from our industry partners, while choosing from pathways ranging from health sciences to information technology and cybersecurity, to early childhood education, criminal justice, business, and more. Our 25 high schools are represented here tonight and they will be able to answer any questions that you have. Thank you so much. Um, and now we have um, a little bit about career institutes. So if you can tell us about how those programs work and why they are so wonderful. Yes, Hi. Oh, sorry. I'm Becky Barker, and I am one of the coordinators at uh, Career Institutes. It's a relatively new program by the district for high school students. It's a four-year program, and we concentrate on skills in particular pathways, much needed pathways, pathways that are going to be here for years and years. Um, Students have the opportunity to get industry certifications, which is vital because in the, any industry certification that students get, that means more money in their pocket for them. We also have industry partners from all different types of pathways, and they act as guest speakers, and um, they allow tours, pretty much virtual right now, but lots of different things, and they work with our students, and we try to get them jobs their junior summer going into their senior year so that they're ready to enter that, full, that workforce right after high school. Next page. Yes, hey, good I'm evening. Oh, okay, yes, hi. Good evening. I'm Dr. Moore with the Career Institute North, and we service five high schools in the northern sector of Dallas. We serve Conrad, Hillcrest, North Dallas, Thomas Jefferson, and W.T. White. The careers that we offer are part of the high school curriculum and do not need to be uh, done through an application, but will need to be selected with their counselor. The careers that we offer are architecture and interior design, aviation, construction, and in that area of construction, we offer carpentry, 
electrical, HVAC, and plumbing. We also offer cybersecurity, software development, and mechatronics. So we look forward to seeing your students next year for the 2022-23 school year um, and learning those great skills that uh, they'll be used in the workplace. Hello everyone, my name is Victor Mendoza. I'm the Instructional Technology Specialist for the career, the Price Career Institute South. We are the institute that is located in the southern section of, the, of Dallas, and we are close to I-35 and Ledbetter, and we are right now serving eight schools. You will see that on the slides which schools and we have um, the, the, current, the following pathways, aviation, architecture and interior design, construction and carpentry, okay. electrical and, and solar, HVAC, plumbing, cybersecurity, programming and software development, mechatronics, pharmacy technician, patient care technician, dental, assistant and EKG phlebotomist technician. And next uh, school year, we are going to have nine, um, our nine schools and we, uh, Wilmer Hutchkins will be one of our schools. Thank you. Hi, Career Institute East. We are located directly behind Lincoln High School in the old Lincoln Annex building. For all of the Career Institute, students come from nearby schools and they come every other day, half a day, to take uh, two elective classes. Our pathway classes include architecture, construction, carpentry, electrical and solar, HVAC, uh, plumbing, cybersecurity, pharmacy technician, and patient care technician. If you have any questions, please visit our websites. Thank you. Thank you so much from Career Institutes. Definitely some uh, needed uh, pathways there. And um, if you give us a second, we're having some issues with, uh, but I think we're back. Excellent. So no more issues. If we're going to jump right into um, dual languages so they can tell us a little bit about what's offered at the high school level. Hi, good evening, everyone. This is Belinda Moran. I'm representing dual language programs. I'm here to promote our secondary dual language program that allows our students who have a dual language Spanish speaking background to continue their journey in bilingualism, biliteracy, and biculturalism. Our high school students who are in our secondary dual language program have high academic performance, um, sharpened problem solving skills, um, deep intercultural understanding, and have higher earning potential long term when they graduate from our program. This is a program that is for students who have a Spanish speaking background or a dual language background. Um, there are seats available at our high schools, and we hope that you apply and choose dual language as your program of choice. Thank you. Thank you so much, appreciate it. And before we jump into magnet schools, if I can if I can just remind the panelists, we're answering questions live at the end of the presentations. So, so please, um, you know, don't, don't answer them now because we might miss a question that might be of interest to everyone if you answer it in the Q and A. So, um, if, if we can um, abstain from doing that for a little bit, um, I will let you know when we can go ahead and answer those. Thank you so much. And now um, our magnet reps to tell us about some of the choices at the high school level from our magnet programs. Uh, good evening, my name is Nancy Rubio. I'm, I'm the magnet coordinator for Dallas ISD. So magnet schools are theme oriented courses of study that provide students with in-depth experiences in specific areas of interest, such as STEM, fine arts, TAG, Montessori, leadership, and multiple careers. There are 27 magnet school options, with nine of those options serving high school students. The main difference between magnet schools and other choice programs is magnet schools have eligibility requirements. Students must meet a minimum report card grade point average and a standardized test score. This year, to meet eligibility, we are taking last year's spring test, the spring 2021, 
or last year's MAP standardized test scores, any of the three MAP test students took last school year. Uh, we are also taking, taking the most recent MAP test, which, which was just taking this, taken this past September. If your child does not have any test scores or is not enrolled in Dallas ISD, your student may request to be tested through the magnet school they are applying to. Once your student meets the eligibility requirements, the student moves into the final step of the process, which is the assessment process that takes place at the school campus. All students will receive their acceptance status via email on March 1st. It is very important that you uh, check your email on your application and make sure you, we, we have a valid email. All communication will go out via email. I do also want to encourage you to visit the magnet webpage at dallasisd.org forward slash magnet to get in more in-depth information on the application process and selection process. Thank you so much for your attention and have a great evening. Thank you so much, Nancy. That was um, very informative. And um, now we'll go, cause we, as you can see, we have a lot of varied programs and a lot of have um, different, um, things that you might be interested in. And one of them is our transformation schools, which um, offer yet another option for our high school students. Good after or good evening, should I say. My name is Jonathan Parker. I'm here on the behalf of the Office of Transformation and Innovation to share a little bit about our transformation schools. Um, transformation schools are open enrollment campuses that are designed around innovative instructional models um, such as STEM, STEAM, Montessori, single gender, uh, personalized learning, and IB. Um, they have no academic requirements. I want to make sure I share that. The course, we also offer transportation for our trans, uh, transformation schools, um, of course, within Dallas ISD boundaries. The online applications, as we mentioned before, of course, November 1st to January 31st. And of course, students are selected through a lottery. That's important. It's a little bit different um, from the other program designs. And so while we do not have that academic requirement, our students are selected through that lottery process. Our research does show that socioeconomically diverse schools offer better learning environments for all students, no matter their background. And the OTI office has adopted this approach for several of our designs. Uh, here this evening, we're promoting our high schools, the Architectural and Urban Planning and Environmental Science School, which is City Lab. Uh, we have our personalized learning campus, uh, which is um, IDEA, the Internet, the Innovation Design in Entrepreneurship Academy, and of course, our project based learning with New Tech High School. Thank you, Mary Carmen. Thank you, Jonathan. So um, now you've, you've heard about all the programs in general, and now we're going to be more specific about which programs are offered at each of the high schools. So we're going to start with Brian Adams High School. So our Brian Adams representatives. And let me, um, if you want to learn more about the schools, and before we jump into um, the um, Brian Adams, let me explain the QR code that's on your screen. You can scan that with your phone or a tablet, and that takes you directly to more information about that school and the programs that are offered in that school. So um, I'm so sorry for having interrupted whoever was going to jump in for Brian Adams High School, but please um, feel free to start. And that is quite all right. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. My name is Joan McCoo, and I am the PTEC assistant principal. Um, if your student is interested in early childhood education or criminal justice, then BA is the campus for you. As Dr. Patton stated earlier, we have some wonderful industry partners. We have the Dallas Zoo. We have Dallas Early Learning, Dallas Human Capital Management, ICE Station, and the Dallas Police Department. We also offer Microsoft Office certifications as part of our program. So your student can earn certification in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and we, our campus also has the Career Institute. So thank you for uh, visiting us tonight and uh, have a great evening. Thank you. So our next high school is Adamson High School. Thank you, Mary Carmen. Um, the great things about these, or the great thing about Dallas Choice Schools is that uh, if there's something you're passionate about, if there's a career that you want to pursue, one of these schools 
uh, can help prepare you for that career and line, give you a head start on your college training and everything like that. So uh, the Adamson Beats Act uh, is for students who are passionate about emerging technology. Um, they want a career in coding, uh, web design, app design, network systems. Uh, that is what we specialize in. Uh, and you'll need to be passionate. These programs are, are very challenging. Um, our program uh, in particular, um, although there are no academic requirements, a strong background in math is uh, is going to really help you get through uh, some of the really difficult things that um, that we give to our students. But if you have the will, the determination to complete that associate degree at the Adamson uh, P Tech, you have the ability to go directly to work to our with one of our fantastic industry partners, either IBM or American Airlines. Uh, our first graduating class uh, this past spring. We placed uh, 11 of our graduates with American Airlines uh, with at 18 years old, a starting salary of $58,000 a year, and uh, maybe even best of all, uh, free flights anywhere that American flies. Um, so uh, we have tremendous opportunity, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. If you have a passion for coding or uh, are interested in it, uh, please give us a look, and uh, we would love to speak with you. Uh, thank you, Mary Carmen. Thank you, Scott. And um, that that's really interesting, the free flights, um, you know, maybe after COVID, that they'll become a much bigger incentive. <laughs> so our next school is Carter High School. Hello, everyone. Can you see me? Because I'm, I can't see if I can yes, see. Yes, we can see you. Okay, hey. <laughs> okay, hey, so I am Mrs. Taylor Mallard, uh, the freshman of, uh, lead facilitator at Carter High School. And the reason why, and also Carter grad, so I'm a little partial. So the reason why um, I feel as if you need to join Carter p -Tech is because we offer you 60 hours of uh, college hours. The, the degrees that we actually uh, search for are the Associates of Applied Science and our Associates of Arts degree. And, um, our pathways are criminal justice. We have um, business and IT. Not only that, through our um, our partners, uh, we actually offered interns in the summer that start paying between thirty and forty dollars an hour, and it does lead to actual jobs after you have completed high school. Uh, last year, we had over two million dollars worth of scholarships come, came through our, our Carter P Tech. And uh, if you would like to see a lot of things that we actually do, more hands-on, you know, as far as classrooms and things like that, parents and students, why don't you fo follow our Twitter at CCA, like on the screen, Carter High School, and we will show you exactly what we do at David W. Carter High School, the legendary high school of Dallas ISD. Thank you very much. And I actually have been remiss in offering the programs an opportunity to talk about what is offered besides PTEC. Um, I don't know if the Career Institute South uh, uh, folks, folks wants to talk a little bit about what's offered at Carter. Perhaps not. Are, are you muted and we can't hear you? All right, well, in that case, let's move right along to the next school, which is City Lab. Good evening. My name is Shanna Bergen, and I am an assistant principal, one of the two assistant principals at City Lab High School. City Lab High School is one of the newer high schools that opened in Dallas four years ago. City Lab High School redefines the way that students are educated and prepared for next generation careers in industry by using the city as our classroom. At City Lab, students explore their city and community through the lens of one of three pathways, architecture, urban planning, or environmental sustainability. Students participate in hands-on and innovative project-based learning, which provides them with experiences that engage them with the community of Dallas through professional and industry partnerships with over 30 architecture firms, environmental organizations, and the city of Dallas. Within our program, students have a variety of educational opportunities open to them, aimed to provide personal learning as a best fit educational model for every student. Students may also participate in extracurricular activities, clubs, 
and student organizations, which are embedded into our school day. In addition, students may earn college credit through AP courses and our dual credit program from uh, university partnerships with the University of Texas at Arlington and the University of Austin. So please feel free to contact me again. My name is Shanna Burton. I'm one of the assistant principals at CD Lab High School. If you would like to take a virtual tour of our school, or if you would like to get more information about our, our pathways, thank you so much and have a great evening. Thank you so much. Our next um, high school is Conrad High School. And, and before I forget, um, after the PTEC um, representative goes through the offerings for this particular school, if the Career Institute North person is still with us and wants to jump in, feel free to do that. Ms. Guerra. Good evening. So I'm here to represent the Dr. Gemmett, Emmett J. Conrad um, High School. So we have really what we call three schools within a school here at Conrad. So we have three programs. We have our NAFT Academy, which is really designed and geared towards our business or entrepreneurial minded students. We have our um, P-TECH program, which has four pathways. We have Allied Health, which is really geared towards our students who are interested in careers in the medical field, pre-dentistry, pre-med, nursing. We have our game design, which is geared towards our students who are interested in really learning about how to design the 3D space within video games. We also have a network administration as well as software programming. And we have some great great industry partners, which have provided some awesome opportunities for our students um, in terms of internships, as well as just on-job training, et cetera. We partner with Stemuli, as well as Signify Health. We also partner with Magnet & Associates, SMU Guild Hall, Texas Health Resources, and Children's Health as well. Um, in addition, we do partner um, with Institute Career, sorry, Career Institute North, and I'm going to let them uh, chime in and dive more into those programs. Yes, good evening. I'm Dr. Moore with the Career Institute North. I'm the counselor. And um, yes, we work very well with Conrad, offering all of our um, careers that we have. We again have the ar architecture and interior design, aviation, construction, cybersecurity, program development, and mechatronics, which is uh, industrialized robotics. And we offer those. Those are electives that the students can choose with their counselor and um, come to us. They come, as we mentioned before, uh, every, either in the morning or in the afternoon, uh, twice a week, and um, come and take those classes with us. It's a four-year program, so we'd love the kids to stay with us for four years, getting certificates towards those workplace uh, industry skills that they learn. Excellent, thank you so much. And uh, so now we're moving on to our next school, which is Garza Early College High School. Hello, my name is Mirka Benitez. I'll be representing Trini Garza Early College High School. Um, Trini Garza offers the Associates of Arts and Associates of Science. Our students start taking college classes at the beginning of their freshman year, as soon as they pass their TSI test. Um, we offer a lot of extracurricular activities. Um, the only thing is that our students do not have uh, sports, so they'll be participating at sports if they would like to at their home school. Very good, thank you. Um, thank you. Our next school, Gillum Collegiate Academy. Good evening, my name is Doyla Berry and I am representing Kathleen Joy Gillum Collegiate Academy. Um, we are an early college high school. We, we are in a standalone facility. Um, our facility mimics much like a college uh, campus. Um, the students there uh, are offered rigorous instruction and accelerated courses. We have academic, uh, we provide academic and social support and highly personal, personalized attention to our students. Uh, our goal is to increase college readiness and get the students prepared for the four-year university. Here with us, like Garza, uh, we, um, we offer an Associate of Science or an Associate of Arts. Um, so if your students uh, are thinking about what they wanna do and maybe they're not quite sure which way they want to go and they're not sure what pathway they wanna take, 
Uh, we are the perfect place for them. We're the perfect place for anyone who wants to go to a four-year university. You're going to get those two years with us, earn that Associate of Arts or Associate of Science degree, and then go on to your four-year university. For more information um, about our campus, you can visit our website and sign up or just stop by for some of our in-person uh, tours or some of our virtual tours. Uh, thank you and have a nice night. Thank you. And, and just as a reminder, I mean, I'm sure that all the schools would like to do the in-person tours and visits, but before you just show up at their doorstep, please make sure that you call them and schedule it and make sure that it's okay. Because um, unfortunately with, with COVID as doing what it is doing right now, we do have some restrictions about visitors in the schools. Um, some of the parameters vary school by school. So please do check with the school before you, um, you go to get a tour. Um, our next school is Hillcrest High School. Hi, um, good evening. I'm here to talk about Hillcrest High School. We are the only school in DISD with a collegiate academy and IB. We also have two Project Lead the Way programs and Career Institute North. There's something for everyone. Um, the IB program can layer with the PLTW engineering or PLTW biomed programs. There are 75 seats available for the IB program. Please visit the Hillcrest High School website for details for the IB program. Um, the Collegiate Academy is, offers dual credit classes, AP and honors classes, academic support, work-based learning, mentorships, Microsoft cert certifications, leader internships that are usually paid. The Academy accepts up to 125 ninth grade students per year, and those students move together as a cohort as they progress through high school. Ninth and 10th grade students have all core classes, including college classes in a dedicated wing of the building at Hillcrest High School. 11th and 12th grade students attend classes at Richland College. Um, we, and if Ms. Moore would like to want to talk about the, about the Career Institute. I think you might be muted. All right. Um, I guess, you know, lack, lack of jumping in means we're going to have to move to the next one because we do have a short time to get through all the high schools. But definitely check it out. Um, call the school, um, scan the QR code, and you can get a lot more um, information that way. So next school is uh, Innovation Design Entrepreneurship Academy. I never use a full name. I just call it IDEA. So sorry, <laughs> that threw me. Oh, no problem, no problem. Good evening, everyone. My name is Crystal Pacina. I am with IDEA High School. Uh, we do go by IDEA for short, which does stand for Innovation Design Entrepreneurship Academy. Um, we are a personalized learning high school campus. Um, we utilize the personalized learning model to tailor instruction to each individual student while surrounding them with mentors and staff to encourage student agency that aligns with instruction uh, and, as well as the student's passions. Utilizing small groups, technology, projects, and design challenges, our teachers create an engaging environment that encourages all of our students to create uh, creatively think and design. We offer the entrepreneurship pathway, which allows students to develop the business and design skills required to create opportunities to impact the world around us. Whether it's a business idea or a social cause, IDEA al allows students to develop design uh, communications and entrepreneurship skills to create real world solutions. All students prepare to uh, participate in, on, in internship or opportunities to begin in beginning around their junior year, as well as their senior year. Our, stri our staff strives to embed habits of entrepreneurship into all classes. IDEA students are also um, 
allowed to take dual credit and AP courses while designing their own pathway to college or career readiness. We will be taking over the personalized learning social media platforms tomorrow. I encourage anyone interested in our school to go ahead and follow a personalized DISD tomorrow to learn a little bit more about our campus. If you're not able to follow us there, uh, please um, reach out to us. We would love to host you for a, um, a virtual tour or just get you some more information regarding our campus and what we have to offer your students. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope this is a scheduled takeover. I'm kidding. Yes, it is a scheduled takeover. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it is. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Our next school is Thomas Jefferson High School. Thank you so much. I'm Barbara Springs, Assistant Principal at Thomas Jefferson High School. Um, and at TJ, we offer three very different pathways that can offer something to every student. Our pathways are business, visual communication, and computer information technology. Uh, our business classes allow students to take courses in accounting, marketing, finance, and management. In our visual communications pathway, students learn all about all stages of art and graphic design, including courses in drawing and illustration, Photoshop, computer design, typography, and portfolio development. And our com computer information technology pathway offers rigorous computer programming courses designed to give students hands-on experience with the latest technology, including Java, C+, and database development. Um, our industry partners include CBRE, Tracy Locke, The Pinnacle Group, and Versa Printing. And all these companies have been very active in supporting our students and offering them internships and offers upon graduation. Um, and finally, you may remember that Thomas Jefferson went through a tornado a few years ago, but we are thrilled that construction on the new and renovated TJ building is going according to schedule and is slated to open in January 2023. So our incoming freshmen will finish their ninth grade year in a beautiful state of the art building um, that will have its own dedicated P-TECH wing. And we would love to have your student join us. Oh, that's great news to hear that that you're that that's happening soon. Yes, <laughs> excellent. Yes, um, I wanted career. to go ahead and, and say something about sure. the career institutes. You see them on several different slides, whether it's the north, the south, or the east. Those are our feeder pattern schools for each of those um, for each of those high schools. And what that means, uh, we go and pick up the students using the DISD school buses. Uh, we pick them up, in this case, it would be Thomas Jefferson. They would go over to Career Institute North. They would take two elective classes, one being at least their pathway class. They eat lunch at the Career Institute, and then we take them back to their campus. We have an AM and we have a PM group which means we do that so the students can still participate in sports, have clubs and organizations at their home high school. So anytime you see Career Institute North, Career Institute South, Career Institute East, that is the feeder pattern school for the Career Institute. And that's where they will take their designated courses, their designated pathway courses per each institute. Excellent, thank you for that additional information. Um, now our next high school is Kimball High School. Hello, my name is Krista Lee and I'm the Workplace Learning Coordinator for Kimball eTech. And we are looking and excited for those students that are to become the first generational college student in their family, as well as those from our feeder pattern, which is T.W. Brown and Zan Holmes. Kimball eTech offers one career pathway, which is an Associates of Arts and Advanced Megatronic Certifications. So students are able to transfer those hours to any institution and keep that pathway or, or move into something else. If your student is interested in drones, robotics, and any automation system, then Kimball eTech is definitely for them. We also want you to remember that Kimball eTech is a school within a school, so your student will also be able to participate in any clubs and extracurricular activities that's offered at Kimball eTech. We welcome you and hope to be able to call you a night for the 2022-23 school year. Thank you. Great, thank you. Our next school is Lassiter Early College High School. 
Hello, good evening. My name is William Quillen Gonzalez. I'm the science lead at Dr. Wright L. Lasseter Jr. Early College High School. We are a two-time Blue Ribbon Award-winning school that also offers our associates in arts and an associates in science with a 100% graduation rate with both the high school and associates degree. We are the um, early college that is attached to downtown El Centro and our students experience the authentic college experience by being exactly on the El Centro campus. Awesome, thank you so much. Lincoln High School. Good evening, um, my name is Verna Farmer and I'm the Collegiate Administrator for Lincoln B-Tech High School. We offer um, associate degrees and early childhood education and hospitality management. We are a medium-sized um, learning environment with about 250 kids, which offers a lot of one-on-one -on -one individualized uh, support and instruction for students. We're located approximately six minutes outside of downtown Dallas and our atmosphere. We have an excellence driven atmosphere, family oriented and a very involved alumni association and we strive to help students to develop their leadership capabilities. And with our um, hospitality and early childhood degrees, it allows our students to study and provides them with the skills and experience to explore and engage with various industries to acquire the communication skills, the teamwork and problem solving skills that are necessary for success in the 21st century workplace. Also, these students will be able to participate in, in high school. You will be able to participate in clubs and extracurricular activities, basketball, track, field, et cetera. You will have that opportunity to do so. So I'm asking, please consider Lincoln VTech High School to receive your 60 credit hours of high school experience and save about $6,000 uh, of college expenses. Please take uh, time and uh, take, use your phone to do the QR code to receive our information and find out more about Lincoln VTech. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so we're moving right along. We do want to leave enough time. It's 649 right now. So we want to leave enough time for questions at the end to answer questions. So um, just a reminder, high schools, be, be brief um, because we want to get to all of you. Um, our next school is James Madison High School, the great James Madison High School. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. I'm uh, Mr. Oriental Wright here at the Great James Madison High School, and we offer uh, business uh, management, information technology, and sports management as our pathways through our PTEC program. We welcome all. We're a small school located in South Dallas, a couple of blocks from the fair. Uh, we're available Monday through Friday, and we're available at your convenience. Thank you so much. And our next school is Molina High School. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sam Epler, one of the assistant principals and proud uh, collegiate administrator for Molina BTech. Molina BTech is a business technology early college program housed at Molina. We have two very popular programs, business management and business accounting. Um, we are incredibly excited to announce that our new industry partner this year, uh, where students can get uh, internships as well as career coaching and experiential learning is Capital One Bank. Uh, and we're really looking forward to seeing your application and interviewing you in January for our class of 2026. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, New Tech High School. Good evening, everyone. My name is Frank Rivera, and I am actually a modern band teacher and an esports coach here at New Tech High School. Uh, here at New Tech High School, we focus mainly on 21st century uh, skills needed in career and collegiate levels. Uh, so we want to get the kids ready to for that experience that they're going to experience, whether they go on to a career or college. Um, a few of the things that we um, have here on campus, we do project based learning so we can get that hands on experience uh, rather than just a traditional uh, classroom experience. 
we are a smaller size school with around 300 uh, learners. So that does provide that intimate uh, setting so we can have that one-on-one -on -one time so we can have a little bit more focused learning. Um, we do offer a few extracurriculars on our campus with the big one being eSports. Um, however, if you do want to participate in physical sports, you can still do that through your home schools. Um, with the eSports course um, and team, we do focus a lot more on the um, careers in eSports. So if you are interested in learning through uh, programming, shoutcasting, all the other options, we cover that in a dedicated eSports class that we have throughout our day. And uh, we actually keep close communication with UNT's eSports. So we're uh, in good, good communication right now, and that's a good uh, relationship we have going. So if you have any questions, you can check out our website. Excellent, thank you so much. And our next school is North Dallas High School. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ryan Davenport. I'm the P-TECH Assistant Principal at North Dallas High School, representing our dedicated teachers and staff and our principal, Mrs. Eska. We are situated in the heart of Dallas. Uh, we're undergoing a $46 million bond where all of our classrooms are going to be updated. Uh, we offer a few different programs at North Dallas and our P-TECH. Your child can either be part of saving the world through our EMT program, or they can be making the future possible in our computer coding program. Uh, we partner with industry, industry partners like Southwest Airlines, Dallas Fire and Rescue, Baylor Hospital, uh, and Thomson Reuters, uh, offering internships where our students are oftentimes paid, earning as much as $4,000 a summer. Uh, we also are unique in that we are the only high school in Dallas ISD that offers a full ride uh, tuition room board scholarship to SMU because one of our um, one of our alumni graduated from North Dallas and they make that possible for our one of our students every year and two of our young P-TECH students were awarded that last year. We have an open house this coming Tuesday from 5.30 to 7.30. We'd love to show you around our building. Uh, please make sure that you apply and rank us number one in your choice as you uh, choose your school for next year. And then we'll get you interviewed really quickly. So feel free to call that number and we'll meet you at North Dallas soon, make you a bulldog. Awesome, glad to hear about your bond improvements. So uh, our next school, North Lake Early College High School. Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Adrian Hernandez. I'm the proud assistant principal at North Lake Early College High School that is located on Dallas College's uh, Las Colinas campus, which makes us a unique school because we are our own standalone high school, but your students will have the opportunity to be an actual college student on a college campus while taking their high school courses. Uh, what makes North Lake different is that we offer accelerated courses, 90 minute courses, where your student has the opportunity to complete a course within one semester, where traditionally it would take one year. Um, our students currently are working towards their Associates of Arts and Associate of Science. Uh, the why for that is because those degrees are easily transferable to a four-year university within the state of Texas, and then through Dallas College partnerships strategically, um, most notably with the University of Oklahoma. Um, our small class sizes are a big advantage for our students. Right now, we only have 205 students. We're accepting 80 into the upcoming cohort. Um, the big plus for us as well is that we start earlier than any other high school. We start at eight o'clock in the morning and then we leave at 340, which allows our students the opportunity to participate in sports outside of our high school. And the good thing is, is that our students also participate in extracurriculars. Uh, that is embedded throughout the day, and they also have the opportunity to participate in the Dallas College extracurriculars. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our next um, school is Pinkston High School. Good evening. I'm Miss Duncan, the P-TECH Administrator at Pinkston H-TECH. LG Pinkston H-TECH at Dallas College is the choice for any students who are interested in the fields of nursing, allied health, IT, or business management. We offer a minimum of 60 college credit hours and an associate degree at no cost to you from Dallas College. We offer job specific experience and paid summer internships with our industry partners. During the school year, our industry partner, Parkland Hospital, offers job shadowing, job specific training with Parkland employees and the coursework that's necessary to obtain a patient care technician certificate to all of our health science juniors and seniors. They also offer immediate employment after high school graduation. And to date, six of our Pinkston H Tech graduates of last year have been hired. We are the pride of West Dallas and a premier P Tech Collegiate Academy in Dallas ISD. 
I look forward to having you next year. Again, I am Ms. Duncan, the proud leader of Kingston H Tech, your future high school. See you soon. Our next school is, we do have a lot of high schools, so hang in there with us. We will, we will get there. Um, Roosevelt High School. Greetings, everyone. My name is Pamela Bryant. I am the proud collegiate administrator for Franklin D. Roosevelt High School of Innovation. The innovation is important because at Roosevelt High School, at our H Tech, and just in the building period, students are able to see how their future is possible. For our H Tech, we offer three distinct pathways of health, allied health, business management, and web development. Those pathways prepare students to be able to compete in the world as 21st century citizens and will ensure that they have opportunities in the job market as they continue to cont uh, pursue their journey into adulthood. In addition to what we offer through our collegiate pathways, we focus our students on having industry experience with our industry partners, which include Dallas Zoo, Bank of America, Celanese, Equinix, Youth Revive, and uh, I believe that's it. Our students have the opportunity to get the full high school experience that would allow them to make sure that they are a whole child, they're rounded out, and they don't feel like because they are thriving and getting the associate's degree that they're missing out on high school. We will welcome any future Mustang to Roosevelt High School, and we look forward to seeing your application come through. Fantastic. And uh, Samuel High School. Good evening. My name is Jason Jewell. I'm the assistant principal for early college at Samuel High School. And we are the first school within a school in Dallas ISD. And so uh, we are super excited to welcome a new class of freshmen into our building. We have 125 slots. And so we have plenty of opportunity to really help our students um, take that next step in their lives. And if students don't necessarily know what their career path is, whether they wanna go into a specific path yet or not, um, we offer students their associates associates of arts and associates of science and so whatever path they'd like to go into we have that opportunity for them also at samuel high school we have our secondary dual language program and then also students have the opportunity to um, attend career institute east as well and so we get students that general associates degree and also our students spend their 11th and 12th grade years full time at the Eastfield campus. And so um, every day they're at their Eastfield getting this college experience. Um, and so we are one of the um, few schools that really gives that opportunity to um, have that ninth and 10th grade year at the high school, really experiencing that, and then spend their full time um, at Eastfield during their 11th and 12th grade year. So if your child would like um, a mix of both high school and college, get their associate's degree, um, we are the school to do. So. Feel free to reach out, give us a phone call, follow us on any of our social media accounts, and we will be glad to reach out and get you more information. Great, thank you. Next, we have Seagullville High School. Good evening. My name is Marquette McGee, and I am the P Tech Assistant Principal for Seagullville High School. We are located in the southeast sector of Dallas, Texas. We are the first P Tech program in the state of Texas. We would love to have you join our program to pursue an associate's degree in business administration or PC support. Our industry partners who offer paid internship opportunities are AT&T, Nifty, Simuli, and Accenture. We will have a PTEC virtual open house on Tuesday, January 18th at 5 p.m. If you're interested in more information, click on the, see the information that's on the screen or that's in the chat. If you're ready to sign up, definitely make sure you make us as your first choice when you complete your application. Thank you, and we look forward to meeting our future dragons. Have a great night. Thank you, and uh, we are close to um, going through all our high schools, and then we'll get to your questions next. If um, if some of you would like to start answering questions that are specific to your schools that may be in the Q&A, um, please do so now. But, be, but while we do that, let's hear it from Skyline High School. Good evening. I am Shavonda Davis, Skyline High School Early College Counselor. We are the first high school in Dallas, Texas 
to offer the first career development center. We have a large alumni and family support. The Skyline Early College focus is to develop college-going aspirations in our students and a college-going culture in our school. We blend high school and college with intensive support to increase the opportunity to receive an associate's degree. We offer two associate's degree, associate of arts and associate of science. Students can participate in extracurriculum activities and internships. We look forward to seeing your student next year. If you have any questions, please visit our website and view our 3D virtual tour. Thank you. And now from the magnet uh, part of the Skyline High School, uh, we are the largest high school in Dallas ISD. We were the first magnet uh, school in the United States. And we currently offer 17 different programs. Most of them also offer different type of certifications. Some of them actually are in partnership with Dallas College. We partner with three different campuses, Eastfield, Cedar Valley, and El Centro. Some of the certifications uh, through Dallas College are level one certification, and the students basically are ready to work after their graduation. Again, we have 17 different programs uh, from pre-engineering all the way to graphic design, photography, radio, TV, and film. Visit our website, www.dallasisd.org skyline. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And our next school is South Oak Cliff High School, which as everyone knows, just won a state title. So yay for you guys. Well, thank you. Good evening, um, you guys. My name is Lakeithia Richardson. I'm currently the SOC um, South Oak Cliff High School P-TECH teacher's assistant here. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know that we do offer two um, pathways for our um, students is going to be electronic technology and network administration and support, which is our IT program. We also um, partner with Microsoft, uh, PepsiCo, Frito-Lay, uh, Red House Virtual Education and Kroger. And those partners also um, offer our students um, internships. We also have mentors. And after graduation, they do offer jobs to those students that qualify for those um, partners. And if you're um, welcome to our school, I will say congratulations in advance and becoming a golden bear. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Spruce? Good evening. Uh, my name is Rachel Burleson. I'm the program manager, uh, the program coordinator for uh, Spruce Early College High School. We're a career and technical early college program. Uh, we offer uh, certifications and associates of applied science in advanced manufacturing or mechatronics, um, air conditioning and refrigeration technology, computer assisted drafting and design and digital multimedia technology. Um, our students attend Spruce High School for their ninth and 10th grade year uh, full time. And then they slowly start to transition half day their junior year and then our full time their senior year. Um, we are partnered with the Eastfield campus and due to their lab space, we are only allowed to take 65 students. So our spaces are very limited. Um, if one of these pathways is a good fit for you or your child, um, please make sure to fill out an application and mark Spruce as your first choice it's because those uh, spaces fill up very quickly. All right, our next school is Sunset High School. Good evening. My name is Tamara Robinson. I'm the workplace learning coordinator for Sunset P Tech. We are a school within a school model located inside of Sunset High School, home of the Bisons and Bishop Arts. We offer three career pathways. We have teacher education, public health, and criminal justice. We have six industry partners that support our career pathways. We currently have Baylor Scott and White, Children's Health and um, Dallas County Health and Human Services, Dallas Police Department, that's a new one for us. And of course we have Dallas ISD Early Learning and Dallas ISD HCM. Um, because Dallas ISD is our industry partner, we have the biggest chip on the table because we're trying to prepare students for their future careers. So they are offered a contract with Dallas ISD to return to become a teacher. And so they have that 
uh, contract that is waiting for them as soon as they get certified. And we also are partnered with two college partners. Our students attend Dallas College at Mountain View. The professors come to Sunset High School to uh, ninth and 10th grade year. Then the 11th grade year on A days, our students are on the Mountain View campus. One of the special things about the Sunset P-TECH program is we are um, partnered with UNT Dallas. So the senior year, our students are on the UNT Dallas campus Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. And so we are wanting to see you come and become a bison. If you want to hear more about our programs, about becoming, um, getting into internships, job shadowing opportunities, resume building, digital badges, professional skills building. Um, we have a virtual open house that is January the 22nd from 10 a.m. to 12. It will be posted on our Twitter account and our website. So come hear more about our program. Thank you. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. And our next uh, school is W.T. White High School. Good evening, my name is Sonia Fontenot and I'm the Workplace Learning Coordinator at W2YB Tech. One of the great things about W2YB Tech is that we are a school within a school, which means that your students not only get to earn their associate's degree, but they also get an opportunity to be a part of the extracurricular activities that are offered at WTY. We offer um, two pathways, one in business and one in early childhood education. And on, with these pathways, we also partner with uh, Wells Fargo, as well as Dallas ISD Human Capital Management. And as Ms. Robeson said, that once your student receives their bachelor's degree and their certifications, they have the opportunity to come back to Dallas ISD and to become teachers. So those are the great things about WT White. We look forward to seeing you. And we hope that you choose WT White as your number one choice for your child's continued education. Thank you. And uh, next we have Wilmer Hutchins High School. Good evening. I'm Vakisha Gordon and I'm the Workplace Learning Coordinator at Wilmer Hutchins eTech. We call ourselves the hidden treasure on I-20. Um, at Wilmer Hutchins eTech, we offer associate's degrees in business management, construction technology, as well as our newest pathway, dance and music, music education. Um, we are fortunate to have seven industry partners who work very closely with us so that your uh, child will have the opportunity to learn all types of uh, resume writing skills, interviewing skills, professional skills, um, and as everyone said, earn certifications. But one uh, big thing that we're proud of this year is that our first graduating class, eight of our students are currently working full time for one of our industry partners. Uh, those students that decided to go straight into the industry after uh, high school with their associate's degree. So uh, with our P-TECH program, there are options. Your student can go to a continue to a four year college or even go straight into the workforce earning $50,000 or more. So those students are very exciting. They're actually coming back to speak to our P-TECH student um, next week about their opportunity with one of our industry partners, Encore. Um, so like everyone said, feel free to scan the QR code um, and check us out, the hidden treasure on I-20. Thank you. Excellent, appreciate it. Woodrow Wilson High School. I know several people were asking about Woodrow, so here it is. Good evening and buenas noches from Woodrow Wilson High School, the number one comprehensive high school in Dallas ISD and proud home to two flagship programs for the district, which is the secondary dual language and the international baccalaureate, the diploma program. We also partner with Career Institute East and offer all those opportunities in addition to incredibly strong STEM, fine arts and business programs, which are available to our students that live in our zone. As many people know, Woodrow Wilson is close to transfers unless they are applications for secondary dual language and IB diploma programs. So if you are interested in attending Woodrow for either the dual language or the IB program, we strongly suggest that you list us as your first choice and we look forward to hearing from you. Check out our website where we will be listing information about an upcoming parent meeting as well as more information to help with filling out the application. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you at Woodrow. 
Awesome. Well, we have reached the end of our high school presentations. And um, I think it was this was really great information. And if I had a student going into high school, I would definitely have found this super helpful because, you know, it, it can be confusing with all those programs to know which ones are, are out there. So um, I just wanted to let you know for, for the parents and students who have joined us for the webinar, if you wanted to review everything again, uh, this recording will be in um, posted in the same page, uh, www.dallasisd.org slash choose, where you registered for the webinar. So you can go back and listen to uh, the, to well, to all of it or the parts that you have questions about. Um, we do have quite a few questions that we've been answering in the Q&A, but I think a lot of them are, um, would be good for everybody to, to listen to. So, um, I'm going to start with some of the more general questions. Uh, so maybe some of the program folks or Jennifer can can answer. Um, we got a lot of questions about um, where can I get test scores and what other scores test scores can be used. And if somebody just moved in to the country and has no test scores, what can they do? I don't know if you want to walk us through that, Jennifer or, or Nancy, since test scores apply more to the magnets. Either one. I'll take either one of you. Okay, for, for magnet, for test scores, we do require test scores and most recent report card. You students who are enrolled in Dallas ISD can get that from their school counselor. Um, they can also contact one of our one centers and we can verify um, uh, the parent information and also get you results that way as well. And our number is listed on the Choose Dallas ISD website at the bottom of the application that you are filling out. Um, but we will need report cards from the last school, even if it was a, uh, a school out of the country, we will take that report card and get it converted to um, uh, numeric uh, values. Okay, excellent. Another question that we got a lot is what is the because we heard a, a lot about B Tech, P Tech, E Tech, I forget what others there are. What, what is the difference between um, all of these? And also, what's the difference between one of those and an early college high school? I don't know if the uh, P Tech uh, program. Sure, I'll be happy to answer that. Great, thank you. So, um, so P-TECH is the overall general name and that can be a little confusing. It was the original name, Pathways in Technology and Early College High School. Um, but some of our schools have very clear pathways. So H-TECH might be health um, and B-TECH might be business and so forth. Um, and usually you can tell that if you look on their websites or talk to the schools, you can see what their pathway is and then it begins to make sense why they have that different letter. But they are all P-TECH. That makes sense. All right. So, so there's it, really the only differences are the different programs that they offer, but the but the program itself, it's the same. Yes, it's thing. all P Tech. It's just yeah, it's a way for them to indicate sort of really what their primary pathway is, and that's really yeah. But it's all the same. We're all in it together. Okay, great. And is there a difference between P Techs, et cetera, and early college high schools? There is a slight difference. They both offer the pathway for the 60 hours and the associate's degrees, um, but the P-TECH programs are specifically designed to have the industry partners and to offer the workplace learning. Okay, great. And um, actually, this is another um, P-TECH general question. Um, we had a couple um, of questions about um, students who were not in P-TECH, they're already in high school, but were not in a P-TECH, but now, um, I guess, listening to all these great presentations, they want to be in a P-TECH. Do you take students after the ninth grade or, or, or do they just have to be jealous from afar? <laughs> Sadly, they have to be jealous from afar. <laughs> Unfortunately, they can't enter after their ninth grade year because their college pathway starts their freshman year, so they have to enter as freshmen. Okay. And there was a question about uh, physical application for PTEC. There is no such thing, right? It has, it's the same application, electronic application for everybody. 
there, there is one application. It's possible that they uh, were handed a paper copy, perhaps from a school, and, and you know if that was easier for them to fill it out that way. Um, but there are not multiple different kinds of applications that have to be filled out. There is only one application. Right. Does that answer and your question? I think so. And just as a caveat, you need to fill out the electronic application to be considered. So. If somebody handed you a paper application, don't, don't use that because we won't count it. <laughs> so definitely go to um, www.dallasisd.org slash choose and fill out the application that you find there. And if you need any help, just as a reminder, our phone bank is still um, out there tonight until eight o'clock. And we'll put that information up again um, in a little bit about with that number. So, and it's also during the weekdays. Um, it will PTEC, and, and this is maybe some of the schools that have had um, experience with this, uh, PTEC uh, and early college credits. Do they transfer to any college, specific colleges? Does it have to be a Texas college? How does that work? So the administrators wants to apply. Go ahead. I can, I can, I can answer that if you want. Great. And I can help if you need um, to, Mr. Hernandez. Yes, yes, Ms. yes, Dr. Duncan. I, um, I, I guess, you know, it, th that's a great question. Um, in Texas, of course, because they, we have what they call the common core here in the state of Texas, which is those 42 core hours, for, the 42 and then your 60 is going to be your associate's degrees, right? Those courses, for the most part, are going to transfer to most public Texas schools. However, we're fortunate, like we've had students in our school go to SMU and go in as a junior. Um, because SMU is nearby and they, they work with you, but not all private universities will do that. However, we've also had students that had full rides all the way to Yale. Now, they didn't take it at Yale. They didn't take all the courses from at Yale. They had to retake some courses. But what I heard from those students is that they felt so much more prepared for the classes because they already experienced the college experience. So they were actually, one even said that the professor for calculus was much was was more difficult at, at the college at our campus than it was at the at Yale. So that tells you kind of the amount of rigor that Dallas ISD is providing for a lot of our students. So so it is, you know, so there's a misconception that I think we need to correct in that kids are going to Ivy League schools like Yale. They're going, my students are also going to USC in California, but they're also taking advantage, the majority are taking advantage of Texas schools because they're automatically going to get those two hours taken but they're also taking advantage of other, other opportunities because those kids are getting full ride scholarships. So please know that this is a springboard for an amazing future choosing any of the p -techs or early colleges or, or some of the choice schools. So um, we're welcome to answering those. I hope that helped answer some of the questions. It did, and I think you made an excellent point that bears repeating that um, the, the really great thing about PTEC and early college high schools is that it gives you that experience in an actual college, like you get to attend. So, so it's, it, it really makes a difference. Sometimes co college getting to a campus for the first time can be disoriented and, and, um, and, and a little bit uh, scary. But, but our students, we're preparing them, not just academically, but ex with the experience. And so it, it really, I think that was an excellent point that I don't know if um, anybody else um, or you want to stress that a little bit more, talk about how students have, have uh, benefited from that experience. Because I think it's important. Yeah, the big North Lake this year is our first year actually on the North Lake campus um, in Las Colinas. And I've seen my students excel. I've seen them interact with not only uh, their peers that are part of their cohort, but also some of the uh, college students themselves. They are confident. They're able to hold their own in an academic conversation, not only with their, their high school students, but also college uh, professors. So I think it's a big confidence booster for them. And it's just something that is not, uh, it's those soft skills that we talk about, those intangibles that they need to succeed. Excellent. Yes. And, um, and actually, there's another another thing that I think is is helpful to stress with, um, with the P tech schools and early college high schools um, is that that students while they're in a different pathway, they can still participate in, in a lot of the traditional high school activities. 
like they still can do sports at the high school and all that, even though they're in the P-TECH pathway. Is, is that correct? Or am I understanding that wrong? So anyone want to jump in? Maybe, maybe Sock, since you know you guys just got the title. Can uh, how does that work with uh, with for your students? Uh, this is Ms. Farmer at uh, Lincoln. Okay, great. Okay, uh, we have a relationship with our coaches, and we sit down with them. So therefore, um, a lot of our students can participate in any sport that they choose to participate in. And a lot of the reluctance comes uh, with a lot of students because if they feel that they cannot have that high school, what they consider the high school experience along with the collegiate experience, they're reluctant to be a part of it, but you can. At Lincoln, you can. I, I can only speak for Lincoln. At Lincoln, you can. <laughs> So, and any other school wants to speak for themselves about the sports because it is it is an important part of the high school experience. So I think it's good to to clarify how that works. Absolutely. Uh, Hello. So, good afternoon. Oh, go ahead. Hi. Good afternoon. I'm Ms. Bob. I'm one of the assistant principals at Idea. We cur we currently have several students that play uh, sports for uh, Wilma Hudge, uh, swim for Carter. Uh, we had a couple of chilies for sock. Um, and what we do is, depending on when they have their athletic period, they can either, we work with their schedule to where they can leave during that season and go to the sports season. And we support them by going and support them during that season. So it works out very well. So like, um, I can't remember your name and I don't want to say it wrong, the uh, lady from Lincoln, you do have to have a strong relationship with the coaches. And yes, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to imply that the other schools can't participate, the kids in, in sports. It's just a little different. But um, so, yes, all, all our students, whether it's a magnet or an OTI school or, or a P-TECH can participate in sports. It just it's a little bit different. But um, Ms. Duncan, I think you you had a comment as well. I was just going to uh, piggyback on what uh, Ms. Farmer said. One of the beauties of the P-TECH Collegiate Academies is that they do follow a school within a school model. And so students do have the opportunity to have access to uh, college, uh, also access to career preparation and being a traditional high school student. And this is my third P-TECH campus. And um, on those campuses, what I can tell you that I noticed is that the P-TECH uh, students pretty much uh, dominate extracurricular activities and, and the sports. And so this just contributes to them being well-rounded. And uh, when we think in terms of scholarship opportunities, even in the athletic range, what this proves to recruiters is that these students can handle multiple things. They can actually handle being a student athlete. And that is something else that prepares them for college and, and life because we all know multitasking is, is something we do a lot, so great. So um, another question about um, how P-TECH works. Um, if a student is enrolled into an early college high school or, or even a magnet um, program right now, but, but then in the maybe second or third year moves out of the Dallas attendance zone, what happens? I don't know if that's something that um, Jennifer, you, you can address. Um, what happens? Can they stay in the school? Do they need to leave? How does that work? They can absolutely stay at the school. Uh, the only thing that's really impacted is transportation. Um, if they do end up moving outside of Dallas ISD bounds, um, they may no longer qualify for transportation uh, to and from the campus. Okay. And, um, and while we're talking about transportation, if you apply to a P-TECH or a magnet school or an OTI school, you can get transportation, right? Yes, if you live within Dallas ISD bounds, you are eligible for transportation. Um, so the only programs that really don't offer transportation are transfers um, to traditional programs. So if you're um, zoned to North Dallas, but you transfer to Hillcrest, the traditional program, um, then transportation is not provided. But and I think that's important to to stress because it may be that after listening to this, if I I live um, I don't know I live in North Dallas, but I thought that the Wilmer Hutchins programs were fantastic and want to attend there. Um, transportation is not an issue. Like my parents are not going to have to drive me across Dallas. 
every day so you can get transportation. So, so keep that in mind as you're applying. Um, we're almost out of time, but I did, and we've answered pretty much all your questions. We're still answering a few of them in the Q and A. Um, if you, if you are from out of town, whether it's out of the country or out of the state or out of the city, but you're moving to Dallas, how do you apply for these things, Jennifer? So this is really important. Uh, the timing of everything is really important if you're moving into Dallas. Um, we do have um, a policy in place for, especially for our magnet schools where in-district students are offered uh, qualifying in district students are offered a seat um, before any out of district students. So if you are planning on moving to Dallas, uh, we really need to go based off of the address in which the student is currently living in um, at the time of the application uh, is being submitted. Now, if they actually move and establish a residence before the application deadline um, has uh past, then we can definitely update that address as long as the parent is able to provide that proof of residence. And, um, you know, we can update that information within the system. But if they are planning to move, say maybe over the summer, um, but they are currently living outside of the district, then unfortunately, they would be considered out of district applicants until they actually establish the Dallas residence. So definitely, before you move, find an apartment. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Nancy? Oh, I was just going to say that is the policy for a magnet program, but I believe probably P Tech and early college probably have something different. Um, um, is, I'm is not that... answering it. We have uh, 23 P Techs and early college high schools in our district. That means that there are a total of uh, about 3,000 seats that are available. If anyone is moving, uh, has plans on moving into the district, research those programs and reach out directly to the programs that you're interested in. And we'd be more than happy to support you with uh, admissions, exception, accept, acceptances and becoming um, a member of our, our, our amazing team that leads you to an associate's degree and a job making a livable full wage. Great. And um, I like how you keep stressing that that job thing and the associate's degree. And if you're if you don't live in the district, you can P Tech also takes students from out of district, right? If, if oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Um, in my previous campus, we were able to recruit a couple of students from uh, the Cedar Hill ISD Collegiate Network. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> so um, thank you for, for answering all these questions to all our panelists and for taking the time to share the highlights and all the great things that are offered at your schools. I hope all the participants got uh, all the information they needed. And like I said, this will be the recording will be available um, at www.dallasisd.org slash choose. Uh, we, there's still some time if you want to start filling out your application right now. Um, just make sure that the school that you really prefer is your first choice school. You can change your rankings all the way. If you already filled out your application, you can go back and change your ranking. Maybe you heard something tonight that has made you change your mind. You can change that ranking. Just make sure that you submit the final application by January 31st. If you have any questions, call our phone bank, 972-925-5560. We're there till eight o'clock tonight and we are there Monday to Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Um, the presentation will also be uh, shared in Spanish. Um, I think that there were a couple of people who had some technical difficulties with um, listen, hearing it in Spanish. We'll also share a, a recording in Spanish. So let people know if they weren't able to be here, they can go to the website and check that out. Uh, thank you so much for being part of this, for giving up some of your evening. Um, Choose Dallas ISD and choose Dallas ISD before January 31st. And we look forward to having you as our students in one of these wonderful high schools. Thank you and good evening, everyone.